Hi, Bappy. This is John Hansen over at Vanguard. We had just spoken a little while ago and wanted to uh, put together this short presentation for you. I think this is a, a great tool to, to kind of help clarify different loan options that are available to you. So as we progress and move forward, you'll see exactly what the rates are, what the payments are, uh, what the costs will be, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, you know, what you see here in this video is what you'll see at closing. Um, I'm just uh, too busy to waste time and promise the world and, and then at the closing switch things at the last minute. So uh, I've been privileged enough to have been doing this for 12 years. If you want someone you can trust and someone you can count on, I'm your man and um, I look forward to working with you. Um, we do guarantee that the loan will close in 21 days or you do get uh, the administrative fee of 595 waived. Um, and here's all my personal contact information so let's move forward the uh, the first thing uh, I like to start off is just to make sure that we're all on the same page and, and we have our goals aligned is uh, just to you know briefly tell you tell you exactly what the goals are in providing this new loan for you um, the first goal would be to combine both mortgages as you have a first and a second uh, the second option is uh, being that you're intention is to pay this home off in five or seven years to get the lowest payment we can um, and, and, and by doing that increase your cash reserves on a monthly and an annual basis so let's move forward to the options all right now again depending upon the payoffs I mean uh, the loan that the numbers that you gave to me it came out to about 197 198 the payoffs will always be uh, usually a month or two interest on top of whatever your outstanding principal balance is and that's simply because you will have either a one or a two month deferment um, at closing you'll have no payments uh, most likely for March um, if we close in early March, it'll be deferment for April and May, new payments beginning in June. So let me just break this down for you. Um, option one is a $200,000 loan amount. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this is actually backwards. Uh, the $2,000... $2,000 loan amount. Oh, okay. This is a, a higher rate to compensate. See, banks are going to make money one way or the other, okay? Uh, most banks out there, like Bank of America, like Chase, they like to do low closing cost options. Um, the thing is, they're not always the best for you. You know, it depends on uh, what your tax write-offs are per year uh, over the course of the loan. You know, in this case, it's a shorter-term loan rather than a traditional 30-year loan. So all of these factors weigh into, you know, making the best decision um, and what is the best loan for you so that's why I prefer to give you some options let you see it in black and white um, and just kind of briefly explain them so as you'll see a two hundred thousand dollar loan again just assuming that your payoff is two hundred there are no bank fees at all um, regardless of which option you choose you will have state and title fees there is no mortgage tax in Pennsylvania so the only title fees will be your closing agent um, in which the closing attorney will come right to your house close there um, if you want to go to their office you're welcome and then your title insurance by the state of Pennsylvania and your government uh, recording fee you know these fees are small and again uh, they're custom and common in in any loan that you do with any bank that you go to so the four and a quarter will compensate for the bank fees um, so you'll see a slightly higher rate but again the payment here is what's important and that is 1756 a month no fees nothing out of pocket um, and the uh, total monthly savings here is about eight hundred and eighty dollars a month okay um, keep in mind you're going from a 15 year to a short-term loan so uh, you know obviously the payments will be drastic whichever way you decide uh, and here's your annual savings as well. Option two will give you the best rate out there. Um, you're in essence paying a point to get this rate and the uh, bank fees you're processing, your administrative, et cetera, et cetera, will be uh, rolled into the loan as well. But again, you're getting the best rate. The payment difference here is $53 per month. And again, the monthly savings and annual savings are gonna be a little bit more. Now, this is my preference to you. Considering you know you're most likely going to pay this home off in five or seven years. Um, I would, as we discussed, go with an interest-only option, and I'll tell you why. The interest-only, the first six or seven years of any mortgage that you take is going to be mostly interest, okay? Um, you know, if you look at the numbers you gave to me, principal and interest, you won't see a large disparison because um, it's a 15-year note and you've already been paying the loan for a, new, a, a, a number of years. If you take out a new 30-year loan, the amount of interest 
uh, versus the principal, it's going to be something like 85% to 15%. So and my take is why not save you the most amount of money if you want to pay additional money towards your principal then go right ahead but why be forced by the bank to say you owe us x amount of dollars when you know in a few years you're going to pay the loan off anyway so right now our goal is let's increase your cash reserves let's get some extra liquidity on a monthly basis pay down other debt invest the money i mean we're talking real numbers here where in five years or seven years you can really have a considerable amount of money Put away, uh, you know, what I like to consider a little nest egg. Um, and we'll get to that in a second as well. So here's the interest only payment. You only pay interest. Um, the principal balance will not go down unless, again, you want to pay extra. And that payment's around 1509 a month. Okay, uh, the 4.375, the rate is always going to be higher on an interest only loan because it's a higher risk. But again, the payment, because it is interest only, will be significantly less, almost $200, as you can see here. So, I mean, you're talking about a 15% difference in payment each and every month. Um, and look at this. I mean, the monthly savings, $1,100 a month or $13,500. $100 per year um, is, is just tremendous. And here I did um, the seven year interest only. Um, the fees and all that will be, you know, pretty much the same. Uh, the only thing that will be different is the rate. This interest only rate um, is 4.125% with the bank fees here. There's not a lot of flexibility as far as a zero cost loan on the interest only only because again it's a high risk loan and most banks don't even offer interest only loans let alone a no cost interest only loan so this is the best I can do um, I may be able to get you a 4.3 with lower fees but you'll see dollar for dollar it makes sense to pay the higher amount at closing get the lower rate get the lower payment simply because most of this is going to be tax deductible now here's the final thing I'll say about the interest only on the interest only loan Okay. Each year when you file your taxes, you get to write off what's called your mortgage interest. Well, on an interest-only loan, being that you're not paying any principal at all, you're actually writing off this entire monthly payment. So if I take 1474 again, just assuming you're going with a seven-year, times it by 12, there's $18,000 per year that you're paying in interest. Now, that $18,000 is going to be a 100% tax-deductible write-off versus any income or any additional income that you may partake in. So my feeling is if you're saving $14,000 a year, and we can invest that at $14,000 a year conservatively at 10%, you're making an additional $1,400 per year. You roll that over, you roll that over, so on and so forth, and you'll see that that gets compounded where... Just $14,000 annually is going to turn into, you know, maybe $100,000 in the next seven years, okay? Um, I used to work for Merrill Lynch before, uh, you know, I've been doing this for, for 12 years now, but I was with Merrill Lynch as a financial advisor for five years, been in the banking industry 17 years. So I have a, a pretty long, extensive background in this arena. And um, if you did want to sit down with me or maybe speak to some of my financial advisors on how to invest, uh, I'd be happy to, to show you the way there. Um, so again, the seven-year interest only, in my opinion, is the best for you, saving you a tremendous amount of money. And uh, let's add these numbers up. If you take a five-year fix, these are both assuming interest only. Um, if you go with the principal and interest, it'll be slightly less. But again, going with the interest only, here's your number on the five-year, almost $70,000. On the seven-year, almost $100,000. Okay, again, $100,000 at 10% is $10,000, uh, but again, you've got to consider that it will be compounded. So in seven years, if you invest the money properly, I mean, you can literally have anywhere between $120,000 to $150,000 um, if you're a little more aggressive. So it's a nice little nest egg to have in five or seven years just by utilizing and structuring a mortgage properly. Okay, um, and the question I like to ask everyone is, you know, if think about it for a moment, what would an extra hundred thousand dollars do for you in your life? You know, could you buy a new home in the Bahamas or uh, in, you know, a tiny little island where you and your family can get away? Um, you know, maybe it can allow you to retire earlier. Maybe it can allow you to live more comfortably. Um, just things to consider. And um, again, these numbers are, are nothing to sneeze at. So. I like to kind of review everything and say, you know, how did we do? Did we help accomplish his goals? I think we 
We obviously are combining both mortgages. And by the way, um, because you have drawn off that line of credit, it is considered a cash out loan. Um, I don't care what anyone else tells you. It is cash out. The lowest payment possible. Uh, obviously, we've figured that out with the interest only and obviously a way to increase our cash reserves by utilizing, um, you know, the savings and maybe investing it or putting it towards other investment vehicles. You know, um, just on a personal level, I think I mentioned to you before, I have a, a newborn that's three months old. She's my daughter, um, most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I have a three and a half year old boy. And, you know, integrity to me is, is very important. Um, not just in business, but in my personal and professional life as well. So, you know, when I tell you that you're going to have a fast closing, you're going to have a smooth process, and everything you see here is what you'll see at closing, you have my word on that. And I'll go to bat for you, I'll fight for you, I'll do everything I possibly can to make sure that happens. Um, and I've been privileged enough to have closed thousands of loans in my career, and the one thing I can tell you is I will always be here for you, no matter what. You're never going to call me... Um, you know, and, and I'm not going to pick up my phone. I mean, I may be busy, but I will call you back that day. And also, you have a question, Saturday night, Sunday, you know, you want to sit down, you have a question, something's on your mind, you call my cell phone, you'll have my private line, and I'll be there to help answer any questions you may have. All right? Other than that, I'll be on the phone with you every couple of days, keeping you, prog uh, keeping you posted on the progress of your loan. Um, and, and again, you know, this is a two- to three-week process. It's not going to drag on for two to three months like all these other bigger banks out there. And uh, another key thing for me is being there for you in the future. You know, a lot of people look at this as a transaction. I look at this as a relationship. So I want you to know you have someone you can trust. You have someone you can count on. Down the road, you may have a family, friends. You may be buying another home. Whatever it may be, it's good to have someone like myself, a mortgage professional that you can trust in your back pocket. Um, so, you know, I want to thank you for the opportunity to help and serve you. Um, you know, I pride myself on my service, and I'm I'm very confident, Bappy, that, you know, you and I will build a relationship for years to come. So what I want you to do is, you know, review this video. You can stop. You can go back. You can do whatever you want. Listen to it again. Any questions you have, write them down. Call me tomorrow. Whenever you have a few minutes, we'll, we'll go over all the questions together. I'll put everything in black and white, send it over to you. Um, and the only out-of-pocket expense you have is your appraisal fee, and that's as per the new MDIA uh, law that was passed back in 2009. Uh, but it's only a couple hundred bucks. And, um, you know, again, that's the only out-of-pocket expense you have. And, that goes for anywhere you go. So give me a buzz tomorrow. I look forward to working with you. Thank you again, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks, Babby.